Hello, it's Steve here from Showrooms Online and we're at Bramshaw Meadows near Utoxeter in Staffordshire, a development by St Modwin Homes. This is the beautiful Chichester house type, a four bedroom detached house with a beautiful render and timberboard finish. Let's go and take a look around. Hello Emma. Hello, good morning. We are at Bramshaw Meadows. We are. By St Modwin Homes yes. in just on the outskirts of Utoxeter. That's right. The beautiful market town of Utoxeter. Now hasn't it been nice just travelling into here? We've come through all that countryside yes. and then all of a sudden we're just greeted by this fabulous development of contemporary houses. Certainly a very attractive development. That's awesome. The house yes. type, Emma, what were you in? Four bed Chichester. Oh, yes. yes. Very nice looking house as well from the outside, yeah, I noticed. Lovely. Yes. Um, a good sized family house by the looks of it. And we are to plan. Well, Perfect. let's have a look what we've got first. We've got this hallway. Nice front door, lots of light coming through it. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? And Impressive looking house from the outside as yeah. well. I do like some modern homes. Right, shall we start then? Let's we go do. into the lounge. Oh, beautiful chairs. Very Ooh, nice. Oh, just look at the colours, lovely. Right, so you've got a bay there to the front. Yeah. Let me look for some dimensions. We've got 4 metres 10 by 3 metres 90. It's a good sized living room. I mean, that's, that's a large sofa. We've got a large piece of furniture here. It is a large lounge, isn't it? You know, I like you've pink. Got and you've got two I love pink, yeah. so yes. It is, it is, it is. And you've got two radiators. Two, I was just about to say, two radiators in here. It feels yeah. very warm. I guess. It's chilly outside. Actually, today. as I walked in, I just felt the, I felt the, the love. It's not too hot, it's just, just right. Well, you've just got right. your jacket on as well. Yeah, well, yeah, it is quite cold outside today. But I love that bay, and it? Just, can you imagine just a nice, they've got a chair in there, or a little mini so cuddle chair or something in there? Very nice. Did you give me the dimensions on that, Emma? It's done. Right, let's have a look. So I'll just take a minute to have a look at this this hallway here. So we've got the stairs leading up there. Really nice contemporary banister there. But not. So in front of me here, we have got the RCD box and alarm controls there and the doorbell. That's just there in just the right height there just for just for convenience and yeah. we've got a radiator here sitting in the hall as well yeah on my right then study first of all before i go in there we'll take a look at those doors they're very nice aren't they some really nice door furniture there look at that 
Right, What's dimensions for this beautiful study are 2 metres 99 by 2 metres 10. Do you know by putting the odd little angle and repeating it the opposite side, doesn't that look, make it just look at the room a little bit more interesting? Yeah, just gives you that bit of extra space as well. So you're not, most studies have a little tiny window, they just don't really waste any, but you've got a good sized window there, but also this could be used as a bedroom. It could, or a playroom. Yeah, it's certainly big enough to get a single bed in, and... Or just a little yeah. TV snug. Lots of uses. Right, this is your downstairs cloakroom. Nice. Dimensions are... 1 metre by 1 metre 74. It's a nice grey in here, isn't there? It's nice, very nice. So, our sanitary wear there, oh, you know what I'm like, I'm always looking for a name, so it's richer sanitary wear there, very nice tap as well. Um, immaculately tile, just look at the standard of that. Um, and that's a pedestal sink, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, shut the door. So, through to the rear of the house then, so this is kitchen, dining, and we've got a utility room. I'm not quite there yet though, oh, but sorry. I'm just gonna have a look. Oh, we've got an understairs that? cupboard there, that's quite a big one. So in there we've got um, telephone points, sockets, a light as well. Very nice, good size as well. I mean, what would be the use of having a socket in a cupboard like that? Cordless vacuum cleaners. Yes. Lovely. And your modem. Modem Routed point, thing. yes. That's what I mean, that's isn't it? it? Out yes. the way. Unfortunately, we don't have a cupboard like that, and ours is just on the... Uh, it's on top of the fridge. The... Oh, <laughs> this is quite different, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, let me, right. just, let me just take stock of this with the camera. So... Well, it fits a kitchen at this yeah. size, then. It's nice. Let me just move along Dying so you area, can see. Yeah. Let me move Beautiful along. Then. Right. So you've got the table. Okay. French doors at that end, then. Gives you access to the rear garden. You've got a window here by the sink. What was that noise? It's just a candle. Oh, okay. Right, so let's start at this end then. So yeah. we've got a dining area, they've got a table here with six chairs. We've got a radiator there. Yeah. Oh, I see the um, show home there at Hilton Park. Um, we've got that, the Keen Show Home. We've got that on our channel. Yeah. That's worth a view. So the way they've laid this kitchen out, they've got this big bank of units here. Oh, you've actually got your fridge and freezer here at this end then. And then you've got your oven and grill. It's a lovely kind of centrepiece, isn't it, within that, your whole unit block. I like that. You've got everything really accessible. And then you've got a large cupboard at that end. So plenty of storage in there. Into the main kitchen area then. Plenty of cupboard space. There you go, integrated dishwasher. Yeah. Now you need to speak to the sales negotiator about what's included within your package. So, we've got a bank of drawers there under this amazing hob, six burners. That's fantastic. You could certainly do a lot of cooking on that, couldn't you? Nice flashback as well. Yeah, it's, it's like a perspex, but it's very nice, isn't it? It oozes contemporary, doesn't it? I like the big drawers. Now, I'm a fan of big drawers like that. So you can fit nice. so much stuff in them. So then, oh, Ooh, that's quite nice, yeah. Pull out larder cupboard thing as well. It's lovely. So then you've got eye line cupboards above. So the room gets its light, so we've got a window which is mm -hmm. just where it should be, right by the kitchen sink. And you've got a set of French doors there, out into the garden there, really, really, really nice. You see, uh, there was a time when you'd spend a lot of time here at the sink, doing the washing up, looking yeah. outside, seeing what the kids were doing, seeing what the weather's doing. But you see now, that's this beautiful dishwasher. So yeah. you haven't got to wash up anymore. Right, let's have a look in the utility. Oh, right, it's a good size. I love a utility range. It just, it takes away the mess and the clutter and you can, this one has a door, yeah. you can shut the door. Right, so it's got a sink, cupboard space below and you've got space there for two appliances. So you can have a separate washer and tumble dryer. This has got everything you need really. There's your boiler in a cupboard. 
You've got a door there to your rear garden, so if you're taking your laundry outside or you've got your dog in here, you can let, let him out. Great. There's a lot of sockets in there as well, two, yeah. two lots of sockets. Well, I've even seen it in homes where people keep their toaster and, you know, appliances that you don't use all the time in the utility. Yeah. I mean, there's a sign there. I know I've, I've explained about upgrades, haven't I? Because obviously this is a show home. But some, I would have very kindly put a, a notice there just saying, just ask the sales consultant yeah. what's included. Think what you can tailor-make you your package. Absolutely. You can choose the cupboards, the floor, and etc. So always ask, because there's plenty of things that can be upgraded to your own budget. Right, let's take a look upstairs. First floor. Right, I think we start this way. So we've got a really nice landage, quite quite a big one. Everything yeah, leads up. Yeah. yeah. We've got everything from yeah. here. Well what I like about this it's house symmetrical. Well, it's, it's symmetrical. Yeah. Yes, I was just about to say that. You took the words right out of my mouth. Right, come this way. This is bedroom two. So we've got doors. We've got a cupboard there. That's above the stairs, yeah. isn't it? Useful though. Large window. I love the low sills. Yeah, but that's what you get with some modern, isn't it? A lot of their houses are based on on letting as much light in the room as possible, and uh, yeah, extra big windows. Fabulous view from here. Yeah. The countryside. Very nice. Right. Just see a little snapshot of that out the window there, guys. Bedroom two. Three meters eighty by two meters seventy six. So. Got built in wardrobes then. There we go. Good size double bedroom. Dimensions: three meters twenty-six by two meters. So this is a single bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, they've got the really single bedroom size. Lovely little angle on there as well. Yeah, I suppose it could be a study. Yeah, it could be a nursery. I think these little angles wardrobe. kind of just take the the the, the boxiness of the rooms off. Just those yeah. little details like just really make a, a difference, interest, don't they? Doesn't it? Just makes it a little bit yeah. different. And you've got a good sized room there as well. Yeah. So this is your main bathroom. We've got a slightly smaller window in here, but it doesn't really, it's just, um, it doesn't really, really um, affect the room much. But So we've got a picture bath again. Are we on, oh, we are, we're in Russia, Russia um, bath here. And it's also got a shower head as well there, so always a little bonus because I mean a lot of houses these days don't new houses don't come with that, so that's an added bonus. Right. Um, but we're back with the Vitra um, sanitary wear now as well. Got a really nice white towel rail there as well, very stylish. And the it's got a shower. Yeah, actually, it's, shower quite, it's quite a big cubicle, that is, isn't it? Which and is a great feature in a, in a main bathroom to have a bath and a shower. Yeah. yeah. Right, dimensions for this bathroom are 2 metres 89 by 1 metre 90. It is a nice bathroom, that is. Mm. But then again at the rear, we've got this is bedroom 3. Oh, beautiful wallpaper and curtains. Right, bedroom three. Three metres twenty-six by two metres seventy-four. We have a door. Okay, so there she's still in during there. Quiet though, isn't it? Yes, I, I wouldn't even know that was there. Yeah. I don't know if you want to show the viewers the view from the uh, the window here. Well, you can see across the road. Look at those beautiful houses. <laughs> 
Yeah. They are very nice, aren't they? It is. And you can just see right on the edge of the open countryside. But that little bit about Utoxeter. Mm. Now, what I like about Utoxeter is its location. You're on the A50, so you've got really good links to Stoke. To yeah. the, Stoke the A50 takes you to the motorway, the M6. The opposite way, it takes you to the M1. Yeah. You've got Burton not too far away as well, um, and Stafford as well. So it's ideal for location, but it's also a quaint, a very quaint market town as well. Yeah. Um, and, and you've got all local amenities fairly close. There's a retail, there's a small retail park there. Everything yeah. you need, really, yeah. really talks it her. But, um, but with the benefit of countryside the living, community. yeah, yes. That horse hair. No, <laughs> looks like it. I don't even know what. Actually, looking at Did some detail, looking at the it's detail. Um, it's this this week we're looking at detail, so you can see that. Look at that horse. Well, it's almost like a chess piece. Yeah. Look at the thought. Well, I think there's that. a definite horsey theme in this bedroom. Yeah. That's well, a doubt. do you think so? Do you, do you think? I'm. I don't. Yeah, I'm not buying into is. that. I don't think there is. Right. Last but not least, then, the beautiful bedroom one. Oh, hitch ya. Hey, check it out. It's a good size. Look isn't at it. it. Now, do you know the very subtle colour changes? Yeah. Not in this room, now you've got that dark and that. that is it a grey? It's beautiful. Well, you've got a very light grey, more of a darker. I mean, grey is so on trend, isn't it? It's, it is the colour of now. Right. Dimensions. Bedroom one, 3 metres 80 by 3 metres 90. So you're above the lounge here, so yeah. the bay continues from downstairs up through to the. It is a lovely bay. I just, I just love the detail how the sill of the bay just continues around. Look at the detailing in that. Even though the windows are separate. Yeah. Right, we've got a, a built-in wardrobe here. Show you how that looks. There we go. Yeah. Good size, isn't it? But plenty that, of room. I was going to say you could even put another wardrobe next to that. If that wasn't enough that. wardrobe space yeah. for you, you could continue it. You can have more wardrobes here. You've got space for additional furniture there. The bed is very well positioned. You've got plenty of room to manoeuvre around the bed. You could even fit a much bigger bed in. If yeah, you yeah. I mean that. Yeah. yeah, you could. So radiator wise, we've got we've got that. Was that the only one? That's all right. But I tell you what. It, <laughs> it is. But I was actually going to say that you've got room there in the bay. You could put your dressing table there. You could have a chest of drawers there. Yeah. You could have your TV on the wall. Well, you've here. got here. You've got plug sockets and phone sockets here uh, yeah. for media, etc. Well, you could have your TV there. Yeah, you, you could have actually. That'd be a little one on there. Yeah. yeah. Again, on that on that sleep. angle now, that beautiful angle. Let me just pause a minute to look at the uh, light fitting. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lovely smell of fresh paint in here. It's been, I think it's, it's a little rare. It smells very nice. And uh, so, so what have we got in this on? Well, we've got the normal um, toilet. We've got that that uh, the sink basin. We've got a little window there as well. Yeah. The tall towel rail, and this lovely shower. That's kind of I don't wow. think I've seen one on that. No, I've kind not of seen an angle shower shape like that. That's really nice. It is, isn't it? Um, Let's open it and see. Yeah, oh. opens outwards. Very nice. It is, isn't it? Let me just come out a little bit so people can see a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. So of the additionally, detail. you've got a shaver point in there. Yeah. That might be an upgrade, isn't it? But still, a really. I actually think shaver points are standard. Are they? Yes, yes. Still a very useful thing to have in a bathroom, isn't yes. it? And very, very, very and nice. just so you know that they do charge. You can plug your toothbrush into yes, it as well. Yes, yes. I should know that's what you do, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. That's it. Right, beautiful. And I particularly like the headboard and the bedding. I do think it's beautiful. Yes. Wow, what there can we, we say? Mm. What a lovely, lovely house. The Chichester. 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 Yes. Very nice. Four bedroom by and, St Modwin. Yeah, and this is a, a, a St Modwin Homes portfolio house type. So. You're going to find this on most sites, so mm -hmm. you best go to the St Modwin website yeah. to um, take a look and see what, what site it's on. But I will put all of the details for this house type 
in the description box down below so don't forget to take a look down there there'll be information about the development and the local area um, and there'll also be um, a link back to St Aldwin's own website so that you can contact them for availability and current prices and come and take a look yourself at Bramshaw Meadows. And if you want to have a look at all other uh, St Modwin properties that we have yeah. reviewed, go to our website www.showhomesonline.com, click on the directory and that will take you and then you'll be able to click the St Modwin logo and that will take you to the directory of all of our St Modwin house types. And it's a growing list and we aim to bring you as much as we can. Yes, but we will catch you on our next video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you.